What is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. I am your host, Logic Motion, and today we have some gaming news. This weekend, there was a crazy fiasco with Helldivers 2 and PSN required uh, uh, linking. It was insane. And I wanted to cover it, but my whole entire tech room didn't have power. Just the tech room. Everything else worked. So I, I wasn't able to get to it in time, but I still want to make a video on it. Um, just let me know if you'd be interested in that. Uh, it might motivate me to do one or the other. Let's get into our first story of today. And I usually don't like to cover stuff like this just because it's sad and we see layoffs all the time. But Xbox is shutting down Arcane Austin and Tango Gameworks and two other Bethesda studios. If you're not familiar with some of these gaming studios, Arcane Studios gave us Deathloop, they gave us Prey, they gave us Dishonored, they gave us Bioshock 2. So like this was a juggernaut of a game studio. And just because they had one blunder, which was Redfall, it wasn't that great, wasn't that good, it was awful but they had one blunder and they get one of their studios in Austin shut down. And it's just like, come on. It's like, what can you do? These, these guys record is great. It's good. Dishonored is such a good game. Prey, um, all these games are great. So to have one blunder and that get one of their studios like um, shut down is, it's just, it's just awful. And it's, like I said, it's so hard to stay motivated in that field. And when you could always have that lurking over you, even after a success, there could still be uh, studio shutdowns and layoffs and stuff like that. It's just I just I couldn't imagine um, spending like so much time learning how to you know, be a game dev or a designer or anything like that in the gaming industry. Just be, you know, just being like, you're never guaranteed a spot. It doesn't seem like you're never guaranteed to be there for like 10, 15 years anymore. It's just more so like, oh, OK, this project didn't do as well as we hoped or it didn't make as much money as we hope. We're going to get rid of like 300, 600 people. So I don't know. It just it feels bad. One of the other big studios that closed down was Tango Gameworks. So Tango Gameworks gave us The Evil Within, The Evil Within 2, Ghostwire Tokyo, Hi-Fi Rush, and these guys still got shut down. These are all phenomenal, great games. Within, Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush is amazing. I personally haven't played it yet, but the game has so much personality, uh, so much going on for it. It looks crazy fun it reminds me of devil may cry that's one of the reasons i had ended up picking up i just haven't played yet because it's in my backlog but like bro like what do you have to do to be successful in the gaming uh studio it's or uh just like the gaming industry like it's crazy to me how their catalog is crazy the evil within those games were great i, I heard too was like uh but like those are great games. Hi-Fi Rush, amazing. Ghostwire Tokyo, like, I feel like these games were good. I just can't imagine, like, uh, being like a, uh, imagine you're a kid, you're inspired, or not even a kid, like, you're, you know, like, an adolescent, you're, like, in high school, you're like, okay, yeah, I want to I wanna go into game dev. And you're seeing all these studios, successful or not, getting shut down, doing layoffs, like, it's it's so disheartening just because it's like, okay, well, it seems like you're never really guaranteed a, like a, a place, a permanent job. So I don't know, man, it's really unfortunate. I feel like Tango Gameworks was incredibly successful. Hi-Fi Rush was amazing. The Evil Within games are amazing. And you still had this happen to them. What do you have to do? What, like, what is, what is going on at Xbox? Xbox owns all these games or game studios. And uh, I don't know. I originally thought that xbox getting a hold of activision and getting a hold of bethesda would have been better for them but it seems like they're just they just bought them to close them i don't i don't know i don't i don't like the idea of it i i think it sucks another thing i wanted to include was the uh, arcane boss his name is dinga bakaba i'm very sorry if i butchered that i'm so sorry um, but he basically just speaks out about the Microsoft exec studio closure. He says, it's a fucking gut stab. You say we make you proud when we make a good game, make us proud when times are tough. And basically all he's saying is just like, Hey, yes, Redfall didn't do as good as we had hoped. Times are tough right now. Help us out. We can put out a good game. Trust us, believe in us. Right. And 
I'm not saying to take that approach with every studio, but when you look at Arcane Studios, the people behind Dishonored, the people behind Deathloop, the people behind uh, Bioshock 2, the track record is there. They can produce a good game. But these guys usually do single player games, right? I don't know. I'm not saying like they were forced to do co-op, but like they're known for single player games. So I feel like if you gave them that niche instead of trying to do some silly goofy vampire co-op stuff i feel like it would have turned out better but um i don't know i'm just a dude uh making videos online but um this is really unfortunate to hear it feels like from an outsider looking in it feels like no matter what you do successful or not you can still be shut down you can still be laid off there's no there's no safe studio you're never safe unless you're the shareholder or the exec which is really unfortunate in other news remedy cancels project kestrel to focus on other games so if you don't know already project kestrel was basically going to be a online co-op uh, shooter just kind of like control and I honestly thought that would have been kind of fun just because uh, control the gameplay the gameplay loop is already really fun they did a really good job with control so I think this would have been really fun but just like arcane studios I feel like remedy is really good really great really fantastic at making single player games so I think this is okay uh, either way, the direction they move in, like if this is just canceled for the time being or if it's indefinite, um, I think it's OK just because we need Remedy to focus on single player games, focus on what we know they're good at. Right. They've never really done any online co-op stuff before, at least from my knowledge. Oh, so I'm OK with them making this project like a, a sideline thing and focusing on what we know you're good at. And I feel like this is uh, this is good news. Um, Nintendo's president reportedly describes its next gen console as Switch next model. Shuntaro Furukawa, I'm so sorry. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Suggests players can expect an evolution of the current gen system. Nintendo has given the strongest indication yet that its next gener generation console won't stray too far from the existing Switch hardware. This is good um, just because the Switch, like imagine, right? You, you bought the Switch in 2017, you bought all those games, physical, digital, however, right? Not being able to use those games on the next hardware would have been that would have been off just it really would have been uh, especially like uh, you you bought into the ecosystem. So I'm really happy they did. They just decided to go with, hey, uh, this is just going to be existing switch hardware. This is probably just going to like everyone's still going to play together. Everyone's probably still going to be on the same network. This is just going to be an upgraded model, which is desperately what the switch needed. Um, and then you'll you'll probably still have switches out there, uh, but they'll just be, you know, they will be the switch one and then the switch two or whatever they decide to call it. Um, but I'm really happy with this decision. I'm definitely planning on getting a switch to or whatever they end up calling it just because um, like there's so many games I want to play on the switch that I would love if they had like a better performance. Uh, Breath of the Wild being one, Age of Calamity being another one, um, Astral Chain being another like I could I could go forever. But uh, there's so many games and I'm really excited for what this next edition of um, hardware is going to be like for Nintendo. Uh, I know Nintendo is the only uh, company or the only console that uses NVIDIA. And that's cool just because Xbox uses AMD, PlayStation uses AMD, Nintendo uses NVIDIA. So it's different and it's really cool. And, and, the, and then in the PC space, NVIDIA is their king. So uh, and I'm not trying to be a shill. I'm just saying they 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 got all the good stuff. Everybody buys their cards, and, you know, so uh, We'll see what they do with the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> anyway, that's all the gaming news I have for today. If you made it this far into the video, I really do appreciate it. You're very awesome. You're very great. You're fantastic, dude. You got to let me know down below what you think about the Nintendo Switch 2. How do you think it's going to perform? Do you think it's a good idea to keep it on that same platform? I do. What do you think about Xbox shutting down Tango Gameworks and Arcane Studios? I think it's real unfortunate. What do you think about Remedy sidelining this project Kestrel in order to focus on what they're known for? Let me know down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you thought the video was awful, give it a thumbs down. You suck. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Y'all take care. See ya, see ya, see ya.